Hi everyone, it's Nushin and welcome back. I hope you've had a super week so far. Um, as you can see, I've just had a shower, washed my hair, and um, I just thought this will be a good opportunity while my skin is completely bare for me to come and talk to you about exfoliation for our skin and why it should be a vital um, ingredient and item in our skincare, especially as we get um, older. Now, what does exfoliation do? Um, like everything else, when we are younger, our skin exfoliates itself naturally. So what it means is that um, it gets rid of the dead cells that sits on top of our skin. And while it gets rid of the dead cells, it um, reveals a much fresher, brighter, more youthful skin that sits underneath. Now, as we get older, like everything else, this slows down. So we have to help our skin to exfoliate itself. Now, with exfoliation, as I said, it will help to show a brighter, a better toned, more youthful, and generally a fresher looking, healthier skin. Um, you will notice sometimes um, that when people do not exfoliate their skin, they tend to have quite a dull skin the color is not the same and the pores appear to look larger. Um, with exfoliation, you're cleaning out your pores so they're not clogged up and they tend to shrink down and look smoother and smaller. Now, there are two forms of exfoliation. One is a physical exfoliation and the other one is a chemical exfoliation. Physical exfoliation are the creams or gels that we buy that contain granules in them and you physically apply it to your face and, um, and you just rub and that helps to remove the dead cells. Now, physical exfoliation is okay, but um, it's not as good as chemical exfoliation and that is why um, I personally prefer a chemical exfoliant now. Why is physical exfoliation not as good? Because number one, it's not as precise. So you can actually miss bits when you're doing it yourself just by hand. The other um, reason is that it can actually be quite strong or harmful for our skin because some of these granules can be quite sharp um, and maybe even scratch our skins and we don't want that. Um, I've actually used physical exfoliations in the past as I've said and um, at the moment I've got one from a um, nip and fab range and it's a, a glycolic physical exfoliation. It's in a cream form so I'll just show you what it looks like. There we are, it's in a cream form that you put um, on your face, neck, chest, wherever you want. And as I said, you just rub it in like so, and that helps you do your um, physical exfoliation. However, I don't like using this on my face, neck or chest at all, because the granules are quite sharp and large uh, and I just find it too harsh. <laughs> However, because it is a glycolic, um, what I'm doing at the moment is that I am using it on my face, neck and chest, but I'm not rubbing it in. I'm not really using the movement of um, physical exfoliation. So what I'm doing, I'm using it more as a mask. So once every two to three weeks before I go in the shower, I will lay a layer, a thin layer of this on my face, neck and chest, and just leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes without rubbing. 
and just let that glycolic acid work um, on top of my skin and I go to the shower and I'll just wash it off again I'm very careful not to rub um, I won't be repurchasing this once I've finished with it because uh, as I said I just find the granules too harsh and too hard and I really don't want to harm the um, pH uh, balance of my skin because once you've um, harmed the balance of your skin it's very difficult to get it back skin doesn't like it so that was the physical exfoliants then we've got the chemical exfoliants that have become much more popular in recent years now of course you can go to your um, beauty clinic and have it professionally done by a beautician who is trained however if you are very careful and follow the steps that is given to us by the manufacturer we can do a chemical um, acid pills at home as long as they are not high percentage now my favorite chemical acid peel again is glycolic acid because i think glycolic can be quite gentle and most skins can tolerate this unless you've got an extremely extremely sensitive skin so um, a lot of people i believe start their glycolic acid peels at home with 30 percent but i only use 20 percent um, glycolic acid peel because i'm always um, very cautious about my skin i always believe it's better to be patient and build it up than do something that you actually hurt and harm your skin so for that reason i always use the 20 percent once i'm finished with the 20 percent i may purchase a 30 percent the one i'm using at the moment is by a company called um, dermedic they actually be i believe they actually do it up to 60 percent but the one I'm using is 20% and I have started by 20%. So it looks, it comes in a bottle and it is in a liquid form. I hope you can see this. You open it and it's got a very, very small um, dropper in there. So this is the 20%. And what I use to put it on my face with is one of these very, very nice gentle soft fan brushes very thin and a little glass container now you're not supposed to use it with metal so either ceramic or glass so what i do is i put the brush in the glass like so and i get my bottle and i just add a few drops to this until I believe that the fan is wet and saturated by the product. You only need very, very little. Now, it is 20%, but after all, it is acid. So we need to be very, very careful with safety. Now, do not get it near your eyes. And if you get it into your eyes, immediately wash it off and um, call your doctor and just ask for advice i don't want to scare you but i just want you to be very careful so how i will do it this is actually clean now so um i will show you how i do it and i've actually done it before i went for my shower that's why i've come because i want you to see what my skin looks like after I've done the 20% glycolic acid peel. So I did it about an hour ago, just before I went in the shower. So you do it on a clean face, completely clean face. Then you get the fan and how I do it, I start it from where I want it the most, okay? 
so i always start from my cheeks because as i've um, told you in the past and i think you can see it now because i've got nothing on my skin well i've got my nisha essence and my vitamin c on my skin and that's it so i've got these um, dark brown patches on my cheeks they are getting better with the retin a that i'm using and the glycolic that i'm using they are getting better but they're still there so i start from where i want it the most because obviously that's where it's going to be first so i start with my cheeks as i said there's nothing on this so i'll just show you and i just gently brush it on and then i go there and i gently brush it on then i take it there i do go slightly under my jawline okay so leave it there then i do this and i go on my cheek then I go on my forehead, I completely avoid my eyes. And what I do, of course, I go on top of my nose, but I again avoid the corners of my nose. And then I turn it the other way and I just go over my top lip. So I just sweep it over my top lip. Then I go to the side lines um, of my um sorry lips and just very very carefully and very very gently make sure all the areas that i want is covered of course as i said avoiding the eye area the corners of my um, nose and the corners of my mouth and i just gently go under there now with whatever little product i've got left i quickly brush it on my neck as well now with this one, the manufacturers actually say, just wash it off with water. But there are some of these products that you need to use um, specific products afterwards um, so that it stops working. Um, I hope I'm explaining this well. With some of these products, um, just washing it with water is not good enough. Now, I've done some research on YouTube, of course, so do your own research. Apparently, all it is is baking soda paste, and we can make it ourselves. Take baking soda, add water, so it goes to a paste form, and you just put it on your face and leave it there for a few minutes and just wash it off. That's it. But as I said, the one I've bought, um, you don't need to do that. They actually say in their instructions that you can just wash it off with water. And that's why I always do it before I go in the shower. Now, how long do we leave it on? Now, I started leaving it on first for one minute, twice or three times. I just left it on for one minute. Then I went on to two minutes. Then I went on to three minutes. At the moment, I'm leaving it on for four minutes. Now, when you put it on, it will start kind of stinging. You will feel your skin stinging. It's almost like a sunburn, but it's very, very tolerable. All I can say is if it becomes not tolerable, please wash it off immediately. Don't think, oh, it's okay. This is what he's supposed to do. No, always be on the um, safe side because you can always repeat it again in a week or two so yes it's supposed to sting a little bit but if it's too much that you think mm, it's hurting me i don't like it immediately wash it off and build it up i know some people start with 20 seconds and build it up every 10 seconds just take it nice and easy there is no need to rush um, now i do love it i will always continue using my um, glycolic acid peel i think it's fantastic um, it's brightening it's lightening and i specifically love it because it is supposed to lighten the hyperpigmentation which is one of my things that I don't like about my skin. 
So as I said, it's nothing scary. You just need to be super, super careful. Follow the instructions carefully and time yourself. It's easy for us to get caught up and forget how long it's been on our face. So time yourself and don't go over that time. Um, and this is my face an hour later. It looks very normal. Uh, and I actually managed to put my vitamin C serum on. Um, don't do it to begin with because you don't know how sensitive your skin is. Just use a very pure oil or a very pure moisturizer with it. And it is advised that for the first 24 hours, you don't use SPF or sunscreen and you don't use um, liquid makeup. I hope this has been useful. I hope um, I've been of some kind of a help. Do your own research, um, but I believe one way or the other, whether you do it at home or you go to a beautician, this should be a vital part of our aging skincare. Thank you so much for your time. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and um, watch my other videos. I love spending this time with you and have a super time, have a super week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.